Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video guys, my name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today we're going to be hopping into another challenge run inside of Clash Royale using this 2.3 Elixir Miner deck that I've been having so much fun with recently. You guys might have seen that I posted this deck before, Surgical Goblin ended up getting 20, 20 wins with this deck which is ridiculous, it's a super super cheap Miner Cycle deck that's actually really good for getting you better in the side of the game and sort of honing your skills using all of these tiny cards trying to defend with, it's honestly really really crazy, personally for me I struggle a lot going against tanks, like taking out golems and giants and stuff like that, but let's go and see if we can take this on right here, pick up some W's, and uh, maybe make this deck work. This deck's been fun. It's been a really good time. Obviously, you're going to be chipping with the miner. You can go for, like, minor bats to start off a lot of the time, so obviously he's got his P.E.K.K.A. We're going to try to soak up as much damage as possible right here as that P.E.K.K.A. rolls on through, so we're going to get a really nice chunk of damage on this side. Only thing that's going to be a little bit scary is how are we going to defend against this P.E.K.K.A. I feel like what we have to do is pretty obvious. We're going to have to use our Ice Spirit momentarily, or our Ice Golem momentarily, to drag this P.E.K.K.A. around. But this is going to be tough because we've already sort of messed this up right now. This P.E.K.K.A. is going to be dealing so much damage. Dark Goblin's coming on in, guys. This is about to get ugly. I've got to use Bats. I've got to use Skeleton. Oh, the blast got off. We messed it up by playing our skeletons in front right there. So we're going to end up taking a ton of damage. I should have played that miner a little bit sooner. Honestly, we completely flubbed the defense and we ended up paying a very high consequence. Now, all is definitely not over. We still get a lot of damage from this deck whenever we need it. I've got my log ready right now if we want to make sure we take out these archers. Obviously, the chip damage we can do with this deck is crazy. And check out this value right here with that log. So much value on those fire spirits right there. P.E.K.K.A. is going to be going down on this side. And since he went for the P.E.K.K.A., we're going to go ahead and run our Ice Golem. Then we're going to throw our bats plus our Ice Spirit down this lane. It's going to be a ton of damage unless he deals with it, even without playing anything else right here. We're going to get the Ice Golem death damage uh, plus the explosion right there. Not bad, not bad. As that goes in, Miner's going to finish off that tower, and that'll be the end of a pretty nice push. All right, well, Sparky's going to be the next subject of choice. So we've got to make sure that we take that on. I'm going to go ahead and throw my bats down right here. I've got my log, I've got everything else. It's still gonna be a little bit tricky to defend right here. I should have used Skeleton instead of my Miner. That was definitely a mistake. Uh, okay, we're still gonna take a Sparky Blast to the face. Guys, we're learning how to defend with this deck. It's so tricky sometimes. The Ice Golem definitely served us really, really well uh, starting off this push. I'm gonna go ahead and get our Ice Golem ready in a moment. Ice Golem's gonna do a really nice job. Turn around, kill this uh, Dark Goblin. Ice Spirit's gonna get killed by that P.E.K.K.A. Slightly unfortunate, but still we'll be able to take this out. I'm going to drop my Miner. It's definitely not in the ideal location. I'm really curious to what this guy's final uh, card is. Like, if he's running some sort of, uh, what is it, some sort of spell, like a rocket or something like that, that's going to make things infinitely more difficult, but we should still be okay. I've got our log in a moment. To start dealing with some of this stuff, obviously, he's just going to have a massive, massive push rolling down this lane, guys. I'm going to tornado everything together right here. Ice Spirit's going to go down. We're going to use our Ice Golem. We're going to go ahead and throw down our log. We're simply spamming it up repeatedly, and as soon as that uh, Ice Wizard dies right there, we can go ahead and use our Ice Spirit. We're going to be able to defend against this massive Elixir push, guys, and at this point, he's realized that he has needs to get some direct damage against our tower, but that's not going to be enough. Ten bats going down the lane for GG well played. Okay. Plenty of mistakes to learn from inside of that battle, guys. That's why this deck is so good, because when you make mistakes, it's very, very obvious using this deck what you did wrong. Obviously, there for me, we uh, failed to defend against that P.E.K.K.A. Sparky one time. We've got some really great cards that we can play against Sparky, such as Ice Spirit, Skeletons. Uh, we've got our Ice Golem. And then eventually, he started giving me a crazy amount of value, so we simply went all in on the uh, other side. But I'm going to go ahead and go hard right here. We're going to go ahead and throw down everything right now. Ice Golem's coming in. Bats are coming in, which are going to hit this Ice Golem. He's got his Bandit, so we'll have to poison that Bandit down, which might give our Miner... Oh, our Miner <clears throat> still has HP, so it's going to beat that Elixir Collector down to zero, guys. Very nicely done for some good damage, and we were effectively able to take out that Pump. Now, here's the problem. When we deal with these three Musketeers, I've played this deck before, and it moves a little bit too fast for my brain. I don't know if that's happened to you guys before. I think what we have to do is tornado them to the same side... So we'll finally make that happen right now. As soon as this gets ready, I guess I'll have to deal with this miner on its own. I'm going to do Ice Golem, Skeletons, literally everything we have to try to eliminate these three Musketeers. Bats are going to, or sorry, the Zap's going to come in. So we're going to use our Bats. So we did end up taking damage. I feel like I played that okay, but just a small mistake here and there ended up costing us a little bit more than what we wanted. Ooh, I was a little bit distracted looking at the camera. I almost didn't catch that uh, Dark Prince. So we're going to make sure to take that out by kiting it nice across the map right there. Should be able to be killed, so that's a nice two elixir trade right there. 
throwing down our Miner plus our Ice Spirit. A little bit sketchy just because he does have Elixir Collector. Ooh, nice Ice Golem from him, but we will connect with our Ice uh, Spirit damage. Miner's going to turn around momentarily to start doing work on that tower, so we spent two Elixir to do a fair bit of damage against that tower there. As he gets ready, we're going to... Ooh. I thought I missed that tornado, guys. We're going to go ahead and play all of this. I could poison this, but feels a little bit sketch to me. So I'm going to use our Ice Golem plus our Bats to try to take a lot of this out. That actually worked beautifully. Ice Spirit plus our Skeletons might not work. Close. Oh, it did end up working. Zero damage on our tower. We're learning, guys. We're definitely learning right now. And that's what this is all about. Bats going in, Miner going in. I keep playing the Miner in the same spot, which is definitely a mistake. Minion Horde comes out. I was expecting that. Somebody go ahead and poison this down. I've got my Ice Spirit for the Miner plus our Skeletons. Make a nice little positive trade right there. Going to go ahead and throw our Miner down again onto this tower. He might have Ice Golem. Yeah, I really need to switch on my Miner placement, guys. I'm playing so silly by not taking those out. And wow, he's going to give me the value with the three Musketeers. I've got my log ready in a moment. If we have to use that, which I will, that's gonna go ahead and go down. Skeleton's going down on this bandit, beautifully done. All right, now it's time to finally switch up our minor placement. We're gonna go for a minor in the back. He's gonna play his Dark Prince way back there. Oh, we're actually gonna drag it over to this side. Very beautiful right there. Super, super happy with how that turned out. I've got my Ice Spirit uh, for this Dark Prince. Skeletons to surround it as well. I've got to play my Miner. Ooh, that's not what I wanted, but we're going to be able to hold on against that side. Looks like his Dark Prince is going to be chugging on in. Really trying to defend this side more than anything, just because of... Uh... Oh, wow. He's going to give me value on that Poison spell. Quick reactions to get that Poison spell down, guys, and that should be GG well played. Miner in the back, plus our log, GG. Whew. All right, we ended up beating three Musketeers. I've played three Musketeers once using this deck, at least today, and I ended up losing it, so I'm happy to pick up the win. Obviously, what's super crucial is making sure we get the Musketeers on the same side. He kept splitting them above the tower, which makes it a little easier for me. If he ended up playing them behind the King Tower, you have to be pretty quick with your reaction to make sure you don't get taken out. But let's continue getting, you know, right into action right now by throwing our Ice Spirit plus our Bats down. That's going to give me some chip damage against this tower. Not bad, not bad. Judging off of what he's done so far, sort of curious to what he's going to play. I'm going to go ahead and tornado everything over right here. I've got Skeletons as well, plus our Ice Spirit, guys. Check out this kiting right now. Is this even me with all this kiting going on? I'm going to go ahead and get our Bats down once again. Make sure we don't take any hits from that knight. Then throw our miner forward and uh, let's see how much damage we can get out of this push. Electro Wizard way too early. He definitely greeted that Electro Wizard. He's going to give us value by playing his uh, archer so we can go ahead and poison that out. Guys, we've activated our king tower. We played oh so well in the beginning of this battle. So I'm feeling really, really good about this one. And we've improved battle after battle. That's, you know, what we're looking for. Improvement is what you should be looking for with anything, really. You know, whether it's you play a sport, whether it's you're playing a game like Clash Royale, you're just really trying to look to get better because it's really easy just to play the same way over and over and over again, which, you know, I'm plenty, uh, you know, guilty of from time to time. But anyways, let's go aggressive right here. He just spent a ton on that bowler, so we can go ahead and try to knock this uh, tower out by going for a fairly aggressive push. Looks like it won't work out in the very end, but that's going to be fine. I'm going to go for the poison spell actually right now to do some work against this push. I've got my log to knock this back. Ice Golem's going to kill the archers, plus it should... Um, do work against this bowler, distracting it. Very nicely done. Skeletons to surround, guys, and a majestic defense right there is going to put in so much work. I'm going to put my Ice Spirit down to take one Electro Wizard hit. We might take one more, but that's going to be okay with me. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and go for another Minor Bat. I just keep going for Minor Bats. Now, I don't know if this is necessarily the right move, but I love going for it. And because he put his Knight right there, he's going to have to zap that down. So that wasn't even Elixir trade. Uh, obviously, we still have to defend against this Knight with our Ice Golem, but all in all, not the worst thing in the world. Waiting on what he's going to do next. He might follow up with the Hog Rider down this lane, as I thought he would. So we're going to go ahead and Tornado. Uh-oh, that was a little bit ugly right there. All right, guys, we're still, you know, we can still make mistakes here and there. I think we ended up having a clean tower, no matter what happened there. I did miss my opportunity to go for a more aggressive Miner. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it down, plus a Poison spell to get some crazy value on all of this right here. We're going to hit those minions. We're going to hit everything. Here he goes, so we're going to use our Ice Golem and everything else. Skeletons coming in. We even hit that uh, even hit that set of archers right there. We're going to have to use our Ice Golem in a moment, plus our log to clean up a lot of this. Uh, we took a little bit more damage than what we wanted. I think we could have used our Tornado more effectively, so I'm going to let our Elixir build up right now as his bowler goes down. And uh, he does give me a little bit of value from this uh, Poison spell, so... Let's see if we can use that. That poison could be a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and bring everything together right now. 
I've got our bats because he doesn't have anything to distract air right here. He did play his Electro Wizard right then, so tricky timing, but he did just use his Zap. Skeleton's gonna come on in. I've got a, uh, oh no, those bats are definitely gonna be a little bit too much, I think. Electro Wizard should die. Here goes everything once again, using our tornado to drag this hog rider. We should be fine. Ice Spirit, just to make sure of that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw our minor poison down right now, see if we can connect on some damage. Archer's going down way back there. We're gonna get value on the archers, plus the minions. Beautifully done. And uh, that basically should be the end of this, unless something really, really silly happens. I'll throw our log down. And uh, that's even gonna get value right there. I'll throw our tornado down as well, plus our ice golem. Miner's gonna come down. He has to throw his hog rider down soon. So let's go ahead and play our bats, plus our ice spirit. Miner's gonna be able to clean up that tower though for GG well played. Wow, this has been a total madness set of battles right here, but I felt really good. We improved battle after over battle, and we definitely started this battle off perfect before making some sm small mistakes uh, here and there. But guys, if you wanna try out a really fun deck, I definitely recommend using this one. It's a ton of fun to play. You can very easily find out what your mistakes were, and you only need two legendary cards to get it done. So give this deck a go. Really great deck if you wanna learn you know, a couple of skills, learn how to kite units with the Ice Golem, learn how to make positive elixir trades on defense. Overall, just getting to be a better player. Give this one a go. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think this is a fun deck? Do you think it's too fast? Uh, do you think it's just like bad against tanks? Because again, I struggle against tanks with this deck. I feel like I just get overloaded with double prints and there's nothing I can do. But give this one a go. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And that is going to do it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.